You know, when people always ask me, what do you do in Seattle? I do tell them to go to Bruce Lee's gravesite yeah. in Discovery Park because it really is a magical feeling when you walk there and look at it. Definitely is. And this week going to be a perfect weekend. Yeah. Let me look outside. Perfect weekend to go check that out. Yeah, good weekend to go there. Maybe go up to the Cascades, get some hiking in, maybe hit up an Alpine Lake. Really nice conditions on tap. And today was just stunning. 79 degrees, not too far from where we should be. 78 is that normal high here in Seattle. Far from that record bet set back in 2014 of 96. We're going to see very similar conditions tomorrow. So if you need to do the yard work, you probably want to do it tomorrow before we really start to heat things up. Tomorrow we're going to be back mainly into the 70s, some lower 80s, Seattle South. But then by Sunday, we're well into the 80s and possibly some 90s. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe even into Thursday. And we're going to see an increased fire danger as well with some of the hot temperatures, the gusty winds and those rel, those low relative humidities. It's Friday, right? 78 degrees right now in Seattle, north northwest wind to 8 miles per hour. Area wide temperatures are pretty much in the mid to upper 70s. It's 74 in Everett, 78 in Bremerton, a little bit warmer in Shelton, Olympia, Chehalis, Puyallup. Good Friday afternoon, all checking in at 81 degrees. If you're going out to the ballpark, that first pitch coming up at 710, we're going to be into the 70s, around 77, and we eventually fall into the low 70s and the upper 60s uh, by later on in the game and possibly the upper 50s tomorrow morning. So a good morning to have that cup of coffee outside or take the dog on a walk. 59 in Everett, 57 in Bremerton by tomorrow morning. A little bit cooler in Shelton, 55 to start your Saturday. Highs tomorrow in the 80s in Shelton, 83 degrees, 83 in Olympia as well. We're going to be around 80 here in Seattle, 77 in Everett, a little bit warmer to the east of the Cascades, 98 for my friends in Wenatchee. Get ready for those temperatures to really warm up Sunday into next week as we have this big summer area of high pressure that's going to build over the West Coast and this is going to bring the longest hottest stretch of temperatures that we've seen so far this year. We've only recorded two days of 90 degrees or warmer at SeaTac. I think we're going to double that by next week. So the normal high 78. We're in the mid 80s Sunday here in Seattle and on either side of 90 Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and I think we're going to stretch that into Thursday as well. So four days to possibly get up to around 90 degrees and we're going to hold on to the heat overnight. Lowest staying in the mid 60s, especially where you have a lot of concrete. So Seattle, Bellevue, Everett, as well as Tacoma going to see some of those warm temperatures overnight. I'm expecting heat alerts to eventually be issued for western parts of Washington. None in effect right now, but I think that changes over the weekend. We really need the rain folks. We just don't have any in the forecast over the next seven days. A lot of sunshine and a lot of warm temperatures.